Two police officers wounded in the shootout with Ahmad Rahami have been released from the hospital. Yeah. Happy officers there. Officer Peter Hammer was discharged yesterday with his support and cheers as you hear from his colleagues. Both he and Officer Angel Padilla are expected to make a full recovery. Michelle Miller is in Elizabeth, New Jersey, where we're learning more about Rahami's past. Michelle, good morning. Good morning. Rahami moved to the United States from Afghanistan uh, when he was just a baby. And as we well know, he lived here in Elizabeth with his family above this fried chicken restaurant, which was owned by his father. But folks who knew him growing up say he was shot, which makes the events of this weekend even more shocking to them. Wasn't super popular. Wasn't captain of the football team or prom king or anything like that. High school classmate Chris Kanya says Ahmed Khan Rahami was quiet and didn't cause trouble. He didn't speak much. He, you know, he wasn't the center of attention. As a teenager, Rahami and a girlfriend had a child who's now in elementary school. According to custody papers filed on Tuesday, the estranged couple haven't spoken since January. Rahami made trips to Afghanistan and Pakistan in his early 20s, where he married Azia Bibi Rahami, a native of Kabul, Afghanistan. And in 2014, he worked to bring her to the U.S. He wanted to know what the problem was with his wife, passport, and visa to get into the country. New Jersey Congressman Albi Osiris says his office denied Rahami's wife a visa. She was found to be 35 weeks pregnant and would have needed Pakistani passports for both herself and her baby to gain entry. It was a routine inquiry, basically. You know, it was not, and we, there was no reason for us to suspect anything. Rahami's wife eventually entered the U.S., but left in June. Sources tell CBS News she was scheduled to return this week and is cooperating with authorities. But some family members had concerns. Rahami's father, Mohammed, says he told the FBI to look into his son. I called the FBI two years ago. And what did you tell them? I told them you got a connection with this guy. During a heated argument in the family's home in 2014, a senior law enforcement official tells CBS News Ahmed Khan Rahami stabbed his brother in the leg. Neighbors heard his father then call him a terrorist. Now, the FBI never spoke directly to Ahmed, but they said that their investigation did not find any ties to terrorism. And Ahmed's father actually recanted the story he told, saying he spoke out of anger. Jeff? Michelle, thanks very much.